This is Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. We have a winner. This is Wretched Radio. Oh, I see you still choose not to use the piano bell. No, we're hipper than that. It's the same singer. Congratulations to Baptist News for winning the Twisted Scripture Award. I'm just imagining Dee Snyder in the green room thinking to himself, if I have to sing that song one more time, well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. This is Wretched Radio. (laughs) This is from Baptist News. Headline, seasoned saints, in other words, older people, stand down and take direction from the youth. Now, it happens to be on the subject of gun control, but that's kind of secondary in my estimation. Stand down, old people. Let the young people lead the way on this. I see. So we're going to let teenagers make big decisions, and the people who have lived three times as long— Adult years, by the way, three times as adult years, not just the toddler years, the sevens and the tens. No, adult years, three times. Stand down. Mm, This attitude really gets my goat. And here's what this person wrote for the Baptist News. Where's my glasses? I can't see it. Indicating? She's talking about me. On numerous occasions during Jesus' ministry, He affirmed the worth and wisdom of children. Hold on. Name that verse. When did Jesus affirm the wisdom of children? Now, certainly I can see the the worth of the value of children. He put them on his knees. Jesus loves the little children. They're image bearers. No less value. God loves the little children. You must come to me like one of these little children congratulations see what she did there often devalued it's got nothing to do with wisdom of course it doesn't of course it's it has to do with childlike faith it has nothing to do with wait what's well which verse is that uh i believe the children are our future that 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 would be george first george benson (laughs) two Followed by Second Whitney Houston three. I believe that children are the future. Need them well. Well, they are, but that's not what they're talking here. I heard somebody say that just last night. Um, I don't want to sound all snooty, but I'm gonna. I am just far more cultured than you plebeians are. You see, well, that's we true. We went to the opera last night. That's right. It's at the movie theater, but the point is we went to the opera. So you had a night at the opera? Oh, yeah. We're very, very cultured, Groucho. We saw that La Bohemie. Oh, that's some good stuff, that. Three and a half hours of the La Boheme. You actually had to take the intermissions. They took you backstage. The set design at the Metropolitan Opera, so magnificent. When the curtains opened, people applauded. It was like, wow, 100 stage hands or whatever the, the correct term is these days magnificent watching them do their craft love watching that and one of the women that was being interviewed she was one of the characters in la boheme which is a tragedy it actually ends the way that i think more movies should end sadly because there was actually a lesson to it you basically saw the romance of two different cult uh, of two different couples oh one of them you thought would break up for sure the other you thought would stay together they didn't it was just the opposite And so at the end, both couples are in the room where one of the women dies. And they had been separated, and now she's dying. She comes back to be with her, well, it was boyfriend, really, as she died. And they were both feeling feeling really awful that they had wasted so much time. While the other couple was standing there together, the curtain closes when she takes her last breath. Depressing, yes, but it did have a it did have a, a moral to it. Um, if you've got somebody that you love, don't neglect them. Don't be foolish because it, how how would you feel if that person died? That's that's what I think was the pretty clear lesson to the story. 
and and one of the one of the women that was being interviewed during one of the interminable intermissions said, "I believe that children are the future, and we need to have these singing programs funded by the government. Otherwise, apparently they'll die hmm. or something because learning how to sing opera apparently is a government funded right. They won't got no cooth, so to speak." I don't know where this woman from the Baptist News got the idea that Jesus affirmed their wisdom. Where everywhere else in the Bible it says young people are lacking wisdom. That's what the Proverbs are to help the youth with, to grow up and be wise. This is why there are church elders. This is why that the young men are to strive to be more like the elder men because they have been down the road far more times than the kids. This woman, this is what she wrote. On numerous occasions during Jesus' ministry, he affirmed the worth and wisdom of child, often devalued along with women and others on the margins of society in his cultural context. No here, right? Um, there, I'm, I'm waiting for white European males to be tossed underneath this bus here somehow. Wait for it. It'll uh -huh. be there. It's in here, actually. There's were lives worth reviving and lifting up, and Jesus consistently used opportunities to highlight this fact. Well... <sighs> No, madam, what he demonstrated is that men and women are equal in the eyes of God. Different roles, same value. Women, children, old men, young, all the same value in the eyes of God, but with different roles. And it's common sense, isn't it? I mean, by the way, at what age are we going to let children make these decisions? Two I'll bet this woman who wrote this article for the Baptist News, I'll bet she doesn't let her child pick whatever the kid wants to eat whenever the kid wants to eat it. I'm just guessing. But we're going to let young people make church decisions? Yeah. She wrote, The Son of Man called on society then, and I believe does so now to change and become like children. Oh, yay, 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 Matthew 18, 3. She put it in quotation marks. Literally, we must humble ourselves enough to put aside what we deem as comforting and correct based on experience and age, power and privilege, and commit to living in a world where the first shall be last and the last shall be first. What does that have to do with making a decision about morality issues, about issues of the church, and in this instance, it happens to be about gun laws? Now, does that mean we never listen to children? No, it doesn't mean that. Does it mean, though, that we, that we listen to them and do everything that children say? No. And if you're young and you're thinking, ah, you old curmudgeons, you're no fun, someday you will understand, and someday you will be making those decisions. That's the way that God planned it. That's why we mature and get older. By the way, Joey, would you go to our Facebook page? Has, has that been posted yet? Some church sending, I think they put an ad in a paper someplace. I'm thinking it was Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. It's got the two Muppet characters, the, you know, that the, that were in the opera. The, the, speaking of opera. Stellar okay. Waldorf. That right there. Somebody spent some time watching the Muppet show. Okay. Sure did. I was a kid. We'd do pizza night in the living room. And that's why you need to make decisions about show. guns and church polity and all sorts of... <laughs> I think I missed my point. Is that is that is that is that it's not up there yet? I don't see it yet. All right, well we'll we'll, we'll get that up I'm for you. I'm going to overlook things right in front of my face. All right, I within within minutes we'll have that thing posted for you, and and it it said something like uh, tired. I'm sorry for this. I, I um tired of old people. It's more of a coarse word. Um, yeah having to do with flatulence, tired of old flatulators judging you, telling you what to do, come to our church. We're going to kick the parents out. We're going to run this place. Not the way that God prescribes it, can't nor is it the way that he describes it. Yeah, that can't see it. But that, I also am recalling there was there's a church in Canada that's growing like nobody's business. A, a dad was was the pastor of the church. The son took over, and first thing on the docket for him was, all you elders are going to be juniors now. We're running this show. You either get with the program and do what we say, or you're out. Now, here's the inevitable. This is, this is the ugly judge's cycle in this. You're, you're, you're not going to escape time. It's going to keep on marching. 
And so if you did the coup to th- overthrow the old people, one of these days, and it won't be long, you're going to be old too. Now who's going to make the decisions? Mm-hmm. You're going to turn over the reins when suddenly you're you're still digging that that whatever that that rap music, the Christian rap music that you think is so cool. And I'm not dissing Christian rap, by the way. My point. You're dis. I love our Christian rap, and the young people are coming up and they're going, "Oh, Daddy, oh, that is so old school." Don't you know that the cool music is is Christian fizzle? You'd say, what's Christian fizzle? Well, it hasn't been invented yet. See, that's why it's going to be cool someday. And then they're going to kick you out, and they're going to want to inject their style, their music, and then you're going to be left on the sidelines. And the next thing you know, you're going to have traditional, bridge, contemporary, really super-duper contemporary, and ultra-cutting-edge contemporary services where the whole body can be divided. Congratulations, Baptist News, for twisting scripture. Until tomorrow, go serve your king. Don't forget, if you would like to hear the entire daily broadcast, simply visit wretched.org, go to iTunes, figure out your favorite Android listening platform, and you can listen to the entire program every single day, downloaded to your listening device, for free. Well, thanks to our monthly supporters called the Gospel Partners. If you'd like to partner with us, we'd be very, very grateful. Simply visit wretched.org.